started all right guys bread a 92 a1 from stock to not you saw shooting earlier of it stock now guess what no longer it is not so it just got a total transformation starting with these beautiful grayish slash green I think they're really more gray the luma grips look really really good on the black framed pistol see luma grips there uh, they definitely seem thinner in my hand it feels like it's going to give me very good texture uh, these are the textured grips so it should be very good in the light recoil of a 92 it's got the xs sights xs sights the new f8 night sights this is a really big tall orange big orange dot front sight with tritium below it kind of F8, snake eyes, dot the eye, whatever you want to call it, type sight, which I'm starting to prefer over three dot night sights. So we'll see how those hit for me, but it's a really big, whoop, it's a really big front. It's a really big front night sight. Sorry, the lighting's, there we go. It's trying to focus, the lighting's a little weird and more realistic training in here. And a Langdon Tactical 13 pound hammer spring, the easiest change you can do. I did it myself, had a little bit of problems just because uh, one part got loose that I wasn't expecting to. Um, but overall, not bad. 13 pounds should give me the reliability I need, hopefully even with harder primers uh, like SMB or whatnot. To help the lookout, stainless steel hex screws from Beretta, pretty much finish it off so here's my double action I already checked that it was clear and I'm down range look how much smoother lighter smoother that is kind of like butter now and the single action has lined up quite a bit so from 12 to 15 pounds probably down a uh, you know seven pounds maybe with a three and a half to four and a half single without having a gauge uh, you know and that will probably even get a little bit better with use for a brand new spring put in there much smoother much better and the grips are thinner so now it's not let's see how she does all right guys let's take our first shots with everything all new not stock anymore oh I totally forgot it's now a GD Cocker totally forgot about that GD Cocker so GD Cocker's in Try that smooth DA pull first shot. Nice big, big front one side. Dead center, like in that. Let's keep cock again. See how I can do it here. Right next to it. Shit, this DA is so much smoother now. I got a, I got three jagged across right now, touching. So the Lane Detectable 13 pound spring is a Wilson Combat 13 pound spring that they hand polish. And it was like, you know, eight bucks instead of the $5.95 for the Wilson. So I decided why not see if that polishing does anything. You know, you're going to put it in once and not think about it. So might as well go with the Lane Detectable. Considering what I'm doing already with these sights and the 13 pound hammer spring, a D spring 16 pound and stocks 20 out of full size, a uh, Breda 92. So you uh, have. Yeah. A huge improvement in the to do. Now the last shot I threw a little low left. I dropped low. Well, I had a 
I did grouping on the last one I dropped as well. These are touching, touching, touching. That's two, that's two or three. And the last one, uh, last one or two I drop low. So guys, in DA, that's much, much, much better. Oh no, 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 sorry. Boy, these Aluma grips are awesome. Just just being slightly thinner, maybe, uh, it makes a huge difference. I got XL hands, and with the stock grips, it was just kind of like a little too much. This is starting to feel precise to me. It feels good. The texturing right here grips in really, really good. I'm sure once I start rocking and rolling, it's going to be awesome. All right, let's, uh, let's do it. It's still swaying, but that's okay. Let's do DA to SA transition. Come back. one just beautiful to pick up and the gun's still functioning absolutely flawlessly so on the da to sa transitions i still got the a box other than one a little high right heart that's good and one just a little low uh spine for my first da sa transitions with this new hammer spring that ain't bad guys i've got to say i'm working from my new jm custom 2.5 claw this thing disappears i got a bread of 92 33 ounce gun plus a lot more once you add a lot of ammo and it curves and it disappears with the, the beautiful wedge he sends with it this is 2.5 claw it's wrapping around i'm a 40 with the belly this thing's been awesome all right with SMB which is harder primers so that's a good side all right so you see my target on the right here a zone with one flyer still in the head a zone a zone just one a little low line one a little high right high that it let's look at our second target that was all the way firm and I had no idea where I was hitting at an angle and there I am all center mass how's that that ain't bad first shot was DA Right now, the difference between the DA and SA, it's not like this huge transition anymore. The hammer spring makes a big difference. These aluminum, aluma grips, uh, they feel much, much better in my hand, even though it's just probably a little bit thinner, but it's the little bit thinner that I personally need, and the texturing on the side makes it kind of lock in and lock down good. It's been great. As you see, I got an active shooter target down there now. I'm going to try this nice DA pull and see if I can get that headshot. It's some, probably 13 to 15 yards. I think it's about 15 yards, 14 to 15 yards. I'll try to find out later. Uh, but it looks like at about 14 to 15 to me. Yeah, we did. That was first time. You see, it's a fresh target. Right in the ear, double action. Double action from draw, probably got it under three seconds. 
That's pretty much what you're looking for if you put yourself to the 13 to 15 yards challenge. You see I did it with some revolvers, a 13 yard challenge. That's probably more like 15 because this hammer spring, awesome from Langdon. Uh, and, and the sites, the big worn sites, access F8 sites, seem to be dead on, seem to be working out great so far. I'm gonna pull back and do some more. All right guys, I'm gonna go for the target. Head on the left now while this guy's still rocking the DA. Pause it and we'll see how we did. All right, not feeling good about that. I got it and it's in the ring, but uh, a little bit right, a little bit right. So uh, let's try that again and we'll do some uh, single action as well. I'm gonna try a few more headshots on these guys, DA, and then I'll do SA. Try the guy on the left. All right, I got that GD cock on back sitting in action right away. Definitely like that. Should help with the uh, reload over the top. So even if you hit that or even purposely hit the decocker to get better friction, it'll decock and that's fine. That's not a problem. Instead of putting it on safe. All right, truth of the matter is I pulled that one a little high. It's centered, I like that. I pulled it a little high. That needs to be at least an inch lower. That's not great, but I'm in there. And the other headshot on the guy on the left was in the um, triangular predator, but, but a little too far on the side still. Uh, but in there, not bad. Um, I'll do DA, SA, 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 SA until the magazine runs out. And he's moving, that's all right. See how we did. Uh, it's been firing great. That was with uh, Federal Ball that time, a different magazine. All right, guys, there was we see here, whether double action or single action, I'm in there. And he was rocking a bit, right, which is kind of good. I thought I'd keep him moving right. You see, he's an uh, active shooter. Or it could be an active stabber. Obviously, we've seen that happen all the time. All right, all right guys, closer now to the active shooter. Maybe I advanced up behind pillars and managed to sneak behind him and flank him. See how it did. That was pretty rapid fire. All center line except that one. You see I basically zippered him from here to here, up and down, right behind his arm, hopefully missing the shoulder bone, getting into his lungs, heart area, trying to stop the deadly threat and pretty much mag dumping on a guy. Do that, sneak behind him, get behind him, flank him. All right guys, you see some photorealistic targets. That's from targetsonline.com. I'll just do a uh, motion first up on the guy in front of me. Yeah, I'll pause it there. All right, those shots were good. Those shots were good. Picking up that orange, big orange front night sight really easily. One was centered. One was a little off. It's still in the circle, and the headshot was centered. Triple tap, center mass. Okay, I'll be there. Center mass, right in the A box. And same thing again. That's how you know each other, man. Always told me. Keep a distance, please. Back up! Damn it! Listen, the outside to the A box. Pretty close, pretty center mass, so not bad. We put three on each. Stop, guys. Stop, guys. Only trouble. Come on, back! 
True to that. In there. This jam custom kayak is working great. Let's do three, three, one, one. Let's do five, five, one, one. If I can. Car mag ran perfect. As you see, guys, this guy is sufficiently foobard. I love the updates. I now got a Breda 92A1 that is unique to me. The grips, the GD Cocker, everything, the excess night sight. Let's see what I can do with this new anatomy target in front of me. Hey, dude. Man, I don't want to kill man. Back off, dude. Hey, no, I don't have any money, man. Back off, dude. Back off. Ah! Five shots, all perforating his heart. Well, all right, four in the heart, one on the spine. Not bad for four five. That's what I can do with the moving target. All in there except one I pulled left while it was rocking, because I'm swaying right to left. But the rest are all pretty much upper thoracic. That wasn't too bad. See if I can drop two in the head. Oh, it's moving. Touching each other right there, right there in the corner of the eyebrow. Still in the tee box, not bad. Let's go two to the head again. Got two baddies. Second one's pretty far. Same drill again. Okay. Where are you guys from, man? Back up, dude. Back up. Learned how to take up a little bit of that slap of the trigger uh, to prep it. Still getting used to this pistol, uh, but boy, I'm really liking it. There's like no recoil. It's great. I'll try it again. I think I'm gonna run out. Okay, keep your distance. Back off, dude. Back up! Okay, not bad, not bad, especially now that I got the updates. This thing's this thing's sweet, running a little hot now. The grips really make a big difference, these Luma grips. Lots uh, thinner and getting really good traction. It feels much, much more comfortable in my hand actually. Um, is making quite the difference. This is a very tall orange front dot. Very, very tall. That's making a, a great difference, I think. It's picking it up pretty fast. Um, having that GD Cocker is really nice. That way if you did have to engage somebody, you just hit that and you're still ready to go, but you're safer while you're evaluating the situation, looking over your shoulders, taking uh, the, the whole scene, evidence, cops pulling up, everything, try to get your awareness back, but make sure the threat is down. GD Cocker is pretty nice, especially because now if you overhand it, it's not going to go in and save sometimes. Um, so all these improvements, and, and this jam custom holster is great. I got a really nice carry package now. Вы имя Отца и Сына и Святого Духа.